Hey, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do a daily vibe for the 17th. No, well, we'll say that. Well, we won't. 17th, 18th, 19th. Okay, you know, I never, the dates are a problem for me. I don't concentrate on the dates, even though I have a calendar right over there. It's like, it's, I don't care about dates and that's, you know, to hell with that shit. So anyway, um, I'm here to do a, just a, a daily reading. Whenever it resonates with you, it resonates with you. We're going to do this one a little bit differently. I just did one with the After Tarot, and I'm going to download that one too. But um, we're just going to see what comes up for the other group, you know. And maybe this, maybe you'll resonate with both, maybe you won't. But we're just going to see what comes up. Um, hopefully we can get a love reading out of this. The other one was kind of like a love reading. I think it was, but... Um, Oh, jeez, I'm crow. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Really? Really? Is it really? Is it? We're just going to see what comes up. Come on. What else we got for love here? What else we got for love? Oh, well, ain't that a contradiction? We love contradictions around here. Um, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this, this relationship going. Somebody is in a relationship where they don't want to be. Okay, they don't want to be in that relationship. It's not, there's no chemistry. There's no chemistry. It's done. It's, but, they're staying in it. Why are you staying in it? Why would you stay in an unrequited love situation when there's true love waiting? Why? Afraid to get married? Afraid of a wedding? Don't want to break up a wedding? Don't want a divorce? I mean, it came out reversed. I just, I just flipped it. Marriage is a factor in this situation. I'm afraid. Or I don't want to deal. You know what matters? What really, 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 really matters? What matters more than anything in this whole world? This. This. Is what matters more than anything. These two are faking. They're faking it. They are. He, he's kissing her hand, holding her hand, being all charming. And she's like, okay. Look at her face. She's like, all right. I can fake it too. Let's fake it. There's no love there in those eyes. No love. Complete act. Somebody is putting on an act. Let's get a, get a couple clarifiers for these. Let's clarify this unrequited love. Now, this true love could lead to a wedding. They're mirroring each other. If you could get out of the unrequited love situation, stop pretending. I'm going to clarify wedding first. There's a there's an opportunity, a brand new opportunity, perhaps with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but a release needs to happen first. Okay, a release and a healing, a forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. There's an opportunity for a new passionate beginning if somebody would open their heart and make that offer. But there's a release that needs to be happening first with that nine of wands 
Letting go of the wounds and forgiveness is needed. Now, this could also be releasing a marriage because you love yourself and you want a new, you want more passion. It could go both ways. Either way, there's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for for love. Now we are going to clarify unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Queen of Swords, somebody, somebody is holding on to resentment, perhaps trying to be vindictive, and that's why they are staying in this unrequited love situation, because I have to pay that son of a bitch back. I will, I will pretend that I am in love, out of vindictiveness. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, ego, pride. I just, I nailed that one. Okay, somebody's ego, the pride. I'm going to prove. I will prove that I am happy even though I'm not. To hurt this other person. To hurt the person I truly love. Ego, pride, and, and and even if it and even then it could this could go another way. This could be some people people stay in a situation where there's no love because of pride, because of ego, because of what everybody else is gonna say. Ego, okay, ego. I'm so worried about what the town is gonna say, what my mother and father are gonna say, what everybody's gonna say, my friends, my family, everybody. There's bitterness here. Somebody is staying in an unrequited love situation out of ego only. Your ego is keeping you there. Pride. You need to come down to reality. Be practical. Accept responsibility. You're only hurting yourself by staying in the other person. Everybody in the whole situation is being hurt because of pride. Ha ha, look at me, I'm the winner. That damn five of swords, I hate that card. In the end, in the long run, who's the winner? Who's the winner? Because the only thing that truly matters in life is this. Somebody wants to go back. Somebody is thinking about going back to what they lost. Now the Seven of Swords, that's getting caught. You are being robbed of true love. You're robbing yourself of true love. By just thinking about it, but not taking action. The time is now. Robbing yourself by thinking about going back, needing to take action, or thinking about making a move thinking about walking towards true love. Look at it. This is the romance of a lifetime. Communication is needed. You're going to you're going to rob yourself of true love because you don't dare to make a move. Your emotions are all over the place. Oh, bastard. Sorry, I can't help myself from swearing. And yes, I got vulgar language for you older people who can't stand it. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, be practical. Be responsible. Come back down to reality here. 
So I feel like, I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody is in a situation merely out of pride and they're robbing themselves of true love because of it. And that's what I have. 